This is a death scene in South Vietnam. The investigators are still looking into the reason for the crash. People are still bringing in bodies. But the local villagers have come into the crash site and they're absolutely scavenging everything they can take. The horror of the crash, for them at least, seems to have paled. At first, armed Vietnamese soldiers kept the scavengers away from the crash site. But the first few trickled in Sunday afternoon, and by Monday morning, the mad rush to win the best pickings was on in earnest. The guards at the scene joined in, despite the fact that the investigators were still looking for vital evidence amongst the wreckage. The Americans are now racing against time to complete their work before everything of importance has been taken away. This scene of horror is made even more gruesome by the sight of whole families scavenging together while the newly found bodies of more orphans are taken away by helicopter. Small children picked up clothes and toys. Mothers ripped suitcases apart. Fathers and sons picked up every saleable piece of scrap metal they could lift. Each family or group made small mounds of their pickings, guarding them against other encroaching scavengers. The soldiers, still presumably on duty, looked carefully for electrical equipment or for valuables. No one seemed embarrassed as we filmed these scenes. None stopped the feverish effort to win what they could from the wreckage in which nearly 200 human beings died on Friday night. The giant scrap heap was a heaven-sent source of a few extra piastres to people who badly needed them. For most, it meant extra food. Flying over the wreckage by a helicopter, it was possible to see the extent of the crash. The few larger pieces of wreckage gave no indication that this is all that remains of a C-5 galaxy, the biggest aircraft in the world, standing as high as a six-story building. A long scorch mark, littered with rubbish, told the story of how the aircraft hit the ground just short of the runway, bounced across a small river, and finally broke up in swampland. As one ironic American remarked, within a few weeks, all that will remain is the scorch mark. Richard Polkerman, ABC News, Saigon.